Okay, that's better. Now, welcome to Jenkins Advocacy and Outreach. It's the 29th of July. Uh, delighted that you're here. So we've got Kate, Alyssa Tong, Viraj Singh Joda. Very good. Okay. Proposed agenda items. Uh, I had put DevOps World, Hacktoberfest, uh, outreach programs, DevOps Radio, and Jenkins Press Contact. Any other topics we should put on the agenda? I think that looks good. Giraj, any that you need to add? Yes. So I wanted to continue the discussion that we had last week. So is that the word here in the agenda? So this is the, the About, topic, uh, uh, inviting students to contribute? Or no, what, what topic were you uh, thinking about? Uh, yes, uh, what campus program? Uh, okay, good. All right, let's, oh, yes. uh, let's put it campus, and campus programs. Good. Okay, yes. very good. Excellent. Okay. So, and I'm going to put it right at the top of our outreach program status. The others are mostly status reports, and I think there's probably more more conversation, discussion, and what do we do on campus programs. Is that okay, Diraj? Great. All right. Yes, totally. Any other topics we should add on the agenda? No, nothing from my side. Okay. All right. Okay, Alyssa, you want to go ahead? Sure. Um, so DevOps World is taking place September 28th through the 30th. It is an online conference, as you see there. Um, the 28th is a workshop day. Main conference days are the 29th and the 30th. Um, there will be a lot of Jenkins sessions there. CDF has a track there. Um, I'm still working out the logistics for the booth. Not sure if um, the, uh, the platform can adopt, accommodate or the booth, but um, we're still working on that. Um, I think it can. I have not been told that it cannot. Um, we probably just haven't gotten there in terms of planning yet. We meaning the events team. Um, uh, what else? Uh, so the workshop on the 28th, we will have uh, the how to contribute to Jenkins project by Mark and Oleg. And then... Um, and, and hang on, possibly Diraj. Diraj, I think you were willing to assist with this, right? Yes, yes. I mean, it's it's an, a late a late hour of day for you, but I think you've you've sacrificed before. Okay. That would be wonderful. But so, is this confirmed? And I think right now we probably only have Mark and Oleg on our um, as our instructors on the uh, well eventually it'll get on the website but Duraj if, if it, this is confirmed please send I think I have your information at least your bio right because you you are giving a session uh, at DevOps world as well so I, I can don't take it from there I don't know that you've got his bio and I don't know that he was signed up for presenting a session so are you Diraj uh, did I miss something or could be somebody else. I can be mistaken for somebody else. Yes, I think yes. Okay, okay, then never mind. Sorry. But but back to your question, Diraj, do you want some more time to think about this before you say yes, I'll be part of the of the contributing to Jenkins workshop? Okay, so so for that I need to ask you like what will be my responsibilities? And um, to me, I would expect you to do about the same kind of thing you did at the Contributor Summit, oh. where you share your experiences, you talk about what it meant to you to do it, some of the problems mm -hmm. you encountered, you allow people to ask you questions, and you provide them answers. Awesome. I'm in. 
Okay, great. So that's confirmed. Yes. All right. Yes. Great. So, Diraj, if you can send me your um, your headshot and your bio, that's all that I would need from you. Okay. So then we can include you as our one of our um, speakers for DevOps World. Great. Sure. Thank you. Yeah. Um, so I am also reaching out to the Linux Foundation to see if they would be willing to provide a Jenkins pipeline workshop at DevOps World as well. So um, I have not heard anything back, but um, I hope that they will say yes. Great. Uh, what else? Uh, registration. The the conference right as of yesterday. Um, 3,300 registrations. Good, okay. Excellent. Yeah. Mm, I think that's it with regards to DevOps world. Okay, so, so if we could take just a minute, I wanted to spend just a second on this thing and show you what maybe it's best if I put it on screen and that means I need to do something different. Just a minute. I wanted to show you what Diraj and I had created and and then how it's I've extended it since then. So Diraj, I just I went ahead and added some things that were requested by Oleg, but I wanted to show everybody here what those look like right now. Awesome. And it'll take, I think, five seconds or 10 seconds for this to come up so that I can show it. But uh, what I want to do is just show the pages so we can see the, the layout that it's choosing. And you can give comments. Uh, certainly, code review is welcome as well. So here's what the site looks like now. And if we look at events here under community, Alyssa, you may remember that there was this line before contributor summits and local meetups and Jenkins online meetup. What I did was added DevOps world. Awesome. So, so that's added there. And when you click this link, it takes you to this page that says, hey, here's the DevOps world picture. If you click mm -hmm. the picture, it takes you actually to the DevOps world registration site. And then I, I just borrowed words from the DevOps world site, minor rephrases, put a big register button here. Yeah. So it takes them to the registration page. Now, the thing that I haven't done yet is a, a Slack channel for discussion in the Continuous Delivery Foundation Slack workspace. I think that's okay. I'm not yet sure that the name is exactly the right name for the channel. It might be that it should be Jenkins at DevOps World or something like that. Yeah, I was I was going to suggest that. I like that. Oh, idea. oh, good. Okay, yeah. all right. So your suggestion. Well, let's so let's do that. All right. So let's let me make a correction there. And I don't know what Slack channel naming conventions they have, but but that okay. So that was one that's not resolved yet. Social media, it appears that this is the correct hashtag. Hashtag DevOps, oops, nope, typographical error. It needs to have, where is it? This one, it needs to have a lowercase o. Okay, now I feel much better. All right. So, what I did as well is I put um, links to previous blog posts mm -hmm. and expandable and contractible contracting pictures from previous events. Thank you very much for your in living color blog post from a year or two ago. Nice. So does that does that seem okay to you? Is that workable as a I, I haven't had Oleg's approval yet, but for me, it feels like this doesn't feel like a bad page to, to use. I, I like it a lot. 
Thank okay, you. Good. The only right. thing, if I can, if I may ask to add, is our. Um, I, I I wanted to thank our review committee and. Oh. And I, I want to also make sure that they come back next year. <laughs> right, right. That's a very good one. So, could you propose text for that into into this pull request? Yes. I, I love that. And and in this case, proposing a change is pretty easy. Mm -hmm. So, did you you saw how I did it, right? What you do is you. You look at the files that are changed, and over here on the left, you click the little blue plus. Got it. And, and it will bring up a, a page, and then this icon here, insert a suggestion, lets you put text in. OK. So, so it's, you go from blue plus to the little plus minus, and now you've got this thing where you put the text right here. Got it. Excellent. All right, thank you. Thank you so much for doing that page. Okay, and oh no, now I guess I should ask a question here. So when this image that we see here, the, the large sort of purplish is visible, the free register now button does not take them to register from that. Oh no, it takes them here. So it's still okay. Yeah. They, they're only two clicks away from register now. Right. So, so it's not bad, great. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, so as far as you can tell, that looks good. And I've got to get agreement from, from the uh, CDF Slack channel that we could put it there, but I see no reason because we, they have a track you said at DevOps world. Yes, they do. And we okay. don't have the agenda up yet. So that will be in a couple of weeks. Okay. So well, um, I, I, and I wonder maybe it should be topic at DevOps world. Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking that we add specific Jenkins topics there. And, and right. And, and if, if those topics are available, as far as I can tell, um, I haven't seen those topics available yet. Right. That's still right. being determined. Okay. Well, well, they are determined, but just haven't been published. It needs to go through a cleanup and all of that stuff. Fair. And I was just thinking, we don't want to publish on Jenkins.io before CloudBees officially publishes. That's that's what I was thinking. Okay, great. Yeah. All right. So then that covers any other topics on DevOps world. I think I covered it all. Okay. Oh, oh, wait a sec. We've got one more. Someone just arrived. Aditya. Thank you for joining us. We've got a question Hello. for you. Okay. All right. So, so you see, let's see, my screen is still being shared, right? And you see here Jenkins yes. workshops at the conference. So what yeah. we're going to do, this is DevOps world, which will be September 28th, a day of workshops, a day that includes workshops. And one of the workshops will be contributing to Jenkins. And We've got agreement from me and from Oleg and from Diraj that we'll do a session on contributing to Jenkins. Uh, would you be willing, Aditya, to participate similar to the way you participated at the newcomer contributor section for the, the contributor summit? What you do is share your experience, answer questions, help us with people who may have concerns, et cetera. It's on 28th of September. Yes. Okay, okay. So uh, I am interested, yes, but then I am not sure what's my schedule going to be uh, during that time because it will be a new job and all. So, uh, yeah, I, I cannot, I'm not committing right now, but I'm interested for sure. Great. So, so Alyssa, we'll just keep, we'll hold Aditya right now as a possible. Yep. He was he was a very good presenter at the last session time we, we I presented this with Diraj and, and Aditya, if your schedule allows it, we'd love to have your help. I would love to be a part of it. Okay, great, excellent, thanks. All right. So then the other, yes, we've got other promotional efforts that those are coming in the future, right? So that's that's later. Yes. Okay, next topic then was Hacktoberfest and and what 
uh, introduction to Hacktoberfest at the contributing to Jenkins workshop feels like a good candidate. We may, that'd be two days prior to the start of it. We could invite people to attend the workshops if they would to register the, for the conference and attend the workshops if they'd like to be part of Hacktoberfest, right? So that's a, that, that might be a good theme. Uh, what we don't have right now is that and the other idea was a Hacktoberfest intro slash launch as part of the Contributor Summit, October 1. So Alyssa, this one for me is, okay, the Contributing in Jenkins workshop is done during uh, US East time, right? But this one has the benefit that it's being done during Asia Pacific time. So it will be during the India daytime, for instance. Mm -hmm. and, and that for me is, is even more attractive because it lets us encourage people like Diraj and Aditya to be active parts of Hacktoberfest. Okay. Now, what, what the gap I've got is I think this group is the is the best group to plan and staff Hacktoberfest, right? So uh, we'll need to plan for promotion. Um, how do we announce it? How do we um, invite people? We'll need to have uh, tasks, good first, good first issues, and that's a that's more complicated because that really requires a larger community to review issues and decide which ones are good first issues. And then we've probably got some administration and we'll need to refer, we'll need to see previous retrospectives for some of the things we learned in the past Now, part of me is worried about this one because this is this can be a lot of work. Yeah. Oktoberfest is is we can well two or three years ago I think we had over a hundred contributions to the project during that month from people who had never contributed before. Um, so it could be an enormous amount of of contribution. Uh, many times they are smaller contributions, and that's okay. They help. Mark, do we send them swag? Uh, we do not. Well, there's there's been an option in the past. What happens is Digital Ocean that sponsors Hacktoberfest offers two two options. Either they will send them swag, or they will do a donation or a plant a tree initiative in in place of the the swag, mm -hmm. and and those now additional sponsors could offer to do extra swag. Um, however, the, the bar of entry to achieve Hacktoberfest goals is pretty low. The, the requirement is you get the swag if you complete five pull requests. Mm -hmm. And all you have to do is submit them. They don't have to be, they have to be valid pull requests, but they don't have to have been merged. They don't have to have been any specific threshold. Just the, the act of submitting them and them not being invalid qualifies you. And so for me, that's not enough to say, ooh, let's send them a t-shirt. Gotcha. But it might be enough to say, oh, we're going to mail you a sticker. You know, if, if it was cheap to, to send stickers by mail, we might. But if it's not cheap to send stickers by mail, I wouldn't. Okay. Did, did that address your question, Alyssa? Yes, it did. Thank you. Okay. So any other comments or insights? Diraj and Aditya, I believe you've both participated in a Hacktoberfest before. Any insights that you'd want to share? Well, yes, yeah, sir. I have yeah. Go ahead, Diraj, no problem. Yes. So I was just mentioning that it's pretty easy, as you mentioned, Mark, to get the t-shirt and stickers. You just need to submit the pull request and there are not much checks done on what the quality of pull request is. So yes. So there's a big budget that they have.
Thanks. And, and Aditya, your comment? Well, yeah, I agree with Viraj, uh, but actually it depends on the organization, I would say, whether they want, uh, what kind of a procedure they would like to follow, how strict they want to review a pull request to consider valid. And uh, yeah, in general, I, I think that the open source culture is really, uh, uh, you know, it is pushed forward. Everyone is doing uh, open source in that particular one to achieve, uh, to win that t-shirt basically. And uh, I, I would say about myself, I did that uh, three years in a row now and I have three active FSP. Great. Okay. So, so you're, it sounds like both Aditya and Diraj, your experiences have been positive with Hacktoberfest. That's good, and the 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 entry bar, the the bar to success is quite low, which is also good. That's that's great, excellent. Thanks. All right, so I think the next steps here are probably um, prepare prepare a plan uh, that collects ideas and um, activities from past years, right? And then uh, review the plan and refine the plan based on our capacity. Because part of me says, I, I, can't, I can't promise to do an awful lot on this, but if we find a small enough plan, I think we can make it successful. All right, anything else on Hacktoberfest? Yeah, I would like to add a small thing. So last year when I was participating in Hacktoberfest, there was uh, this repository on GitHub which had a curated list of other organizations uh, which were providing some kind of a program uh, in parallel to Hacktoberfest, more like building on top of it. So there, uh, what they, they would, name it whatever uh, like they like with along with the names of Hacktoberfest and the name of their organization. So um, I, I for one participated uh, in that one of those programs. So the system, what they have is uh, you join their Slack channel, you see what problems the organization is facing, what uh, issues they have put out there for uh, users to solve. And there's a uh, organization level uh, private leaderboard sort of thing. And that is when they, they track uh, what kind of pull request the user is making, what is the difficulty level of issue that a uh, uh, participant is solving. And according to that, the top three receive some kind of a swag bag or something. So uh, I did participate in, uh, participate in one and that light competitiveness actually adds, uh, like the number of pull requests that that particular organization got was more than what they expected. So it was two to three times more. And the organization that I'm talking about is Active Loop. So uh, we can have some uh, some sort of a program of this kind as well. If you want. So, and what was that organization again? It was? Uh, yeah, it was Active Loop, which was participating uh, in this kind of a program. Great. Okay. Yes. So Hacktoberfest Active Loop. And that was for last year, so 2020. Yes. Okay, good. All right. So we can look at look that look at that and see, hey, are there some ideas we should borrow from them, should use from them that would help us have a, a more successful event? Good. Okay. Yeah, I like that. For instance, I could see us doing something like a uh, putting this on our discourse server where, hey, we're going to do Hacktoberfest here as a as a part of community.jenkins.io and on community.jenkins.io have topics and conversations that go on there. Very good. All right. Anything else on Hacktoberfest?
Okay, next topic then, outreach program status. So uh, campus programs was a hot topic. Diraj, you wanna, wanna go further on that? Oops. Help me. Where did Yes. Sorry, I've lost my page there. Yes. So last time we covered the details really well. So I suggested that DSC, the two programs, one by Google and another one by GitHub about the campus experts. So we have Aditya with us. So he can share his experience being a DSC lead himself. So that would be great, like explaining um, how it helped the reach of Google in, in our college. And uh, yes, uh, the process and everything. Aditya. Okay, so yes, I'm, I was the DSC lead for my college for the year 2020-21 for that academic year. And it was the first time that DS, uh, DSC, that is Developer Student Clubs, got elect, uh, started in my college. So I was the first lead of the college. And uh, what hap what the, this program is all about uh, making sure that Google technology is available to students at uh, the bachelor's level. So when they are doing their bachelor's of engineering, they get to know about all the different various technologies. So this program is like the Google, uh, Google, uh, Google has created a team and I think this exists in more than uh, 100 countries for sure. I, I am unaware of the uh, correct number, but it is every almost in every major country in the world. And um, this program, what it does is they, the Google, Google forms a team of uh, engineers from their side who who are like the mentors for people in various countries and uh, there's a google dsc india group that was created and that group then interviews students from various uh, universities and one person from each university is selected as the dsc lead from that college or that university and uh, as a lead what i my responsibilities were to uh, one pass on all the information that I get from uh, these people, the DSC India group, to my college students. Conduct workshops for them where I, I or my team. So I had given that power to actually elect a team of students from my own university where I can. Uh, like I had, I had the ability to you know have a team of five to seven people. So from various domains, so they need not be just software engineering. So software, IoT, um, and different parts of software. So we also had some, one for cloud, from machine learning, for um, mobile app development, all all the Google technology, main Google technology fields. And uh, then what we did was we uh, conducted workshops for the students. We made sure that if they had any doubts, then we can get them clear. Uh, cleared after the workshop or during the workshop except for that i i provided them with a like the google providers at us with all the credentials and then i i gave the students all those credentials so they were 600 dollar worth of uh, google code labs where they can learn google cloud platform and that was uh, one of the major events of the of that academic year so basically uh, this is uh, this is how the structure is. So Google provides credits and all the information about a new program uh, to the country leads and the country leads give them to university leads and university leads give them to the students. So it's a proper tree structure. And uh, uh, basically, yeah, that, that that is it. So from my experience, apart from just uh, doing a good work uh, in my college, I also got to network with a lot of amazing people. Uh, so the leads from all the other colleges were as amazing and they had their own experiences. So that network widens and not just in India, but they had a Slack a global Slack channel. So that uh, network was actually a global network. And, um, and Google has their own platforms, like they call a platform called, uh, they have a platform called Community Leads. Uh, I don't remember the extension, but it's community leads platform. They call it that. And that platform, on that platform, they have all the leads and the mentors from whenever DSC started. So it was four or five years back. So 
everyone was there and uh, we can basically ask for uh, it is very easy for uh, college students to ask for mentorship and to get speakers for their events so uh, it is one of the major difficulties that i found uh, there, there were no international speakers coming to our college because it, it it is not as famous as some other universities in india so uh, people don't really know about it and international speakers were not coming uh, to a college but after this uh, bsc program uh, like even my college got a uh, you know it was getting noticed that okay there is a bsc program over here and we can come so it was quite easy for me to ask people to uh, come and give talks or collaborate with other dscs our collaboration was uh, happening on a global level because of the pandemic you know, uh, so all were online events so we uh, collaborated across the globe yeah i think i should stop now excellent thank you aditya thank you very much so so you're a key a key resource for that kind of an experience so Google's program allowed you to to both connect to many other people and to provide service and help to students, other students at your college, uh, through these workshops and through assembling this team. They provided credits, you say, and credentials so that people could use those credits. That's that's great. Yes. So, Alyssa, I know we've we've talked about hey, what could we do? Certainly, we are not Google scale. So this is this is awesome and awe-inspiring to think what what Google has done. Um, I'm curious, any ideas here of things that we might consider within the scope of what Jenkins has available? You know, what what how would we reach out in in some similar pattern? Hmm. Yeah, so I think that same question comes to my mind as well, Mark. Um, you know, do we have, number one, do we have the resource? And if we do, I mean, what, what would be our plan, right? How, uh, how would we do this? Like, what would we be, um, what is, what is our goal, right? So, um, the, the, I mean, this is all great information, but it comes up with so much questions in my head and I don't know how to articulate those questions. Um, but I think, I, I mean, it would be awesome for us to bring Jenkins to this program. I know that for sure. Well, and, and yeah, no dispute there. I, I was, I was wondering, okay, what if, so we, we certainly aren't going to send $600 of credit to tens of thousands of students throughout India, right? Or anywhere that we just don't have the budget for that. But, but there's a piece of this that Aditya described, networking with many amazing people and leads from other colleges that is sort of organic and doesn't have a, a cost associated with it. It's rather that there was a reason why Aditya was talking to other people and for instance, hosting these workshops for students that show how to do, I mean, what if, for instance, what if we invited students at, let's say, what if we invited Aditya and Diraj and asked them to invite five friends to a workshop on using Jenkins pipeline or a workshop on how a student might use Jenkins pipeline to do a better, to do better in their university or the college work? Um, would that start a, a sort of a network of people, a process of encouraging others to, hey, come join. Here's this session that we're going to have together. Let's talk about it. How could you use this as a student? You've, you've got a, a, an assignment. You're going, supposed to write this program that you need to submit, but you really should have continuous integration running to help you. Here's how you could do it, that kind of thing. Diraj, Aditya, what do you think? Feasible or no, not so much? Well, we do have a final year project as part of our bachelor's studies. So that is something that we all the students do with so much of enthusiasm. So I think we can help students to use Jenkins as part of their uh, final year project. Of course, the domain has to align, 
but uh, i'm saying final year 12 because that is when people are very enthusiastic about and serious about the project so we can help them and and bring in jenkins in the situation at that time so i i like that suggestion so making final year students the uh the primary target right so you noted they are more likely because in final year i and that was that was even my experience long years ago as i was completing my bachelor's was one of the things that i was assigned was a what they called a senior project it was a a, a large scale effort and it was expected to take significant effort and therefore i was interested in a broader set of tools then i was interested in the prior years where things were were much smaller problems much easier to solve exactly yes okay that's that's an interesting angle i i think alissa you and i may want to talk further about that about the hey use jenkins on your final year project and highlighting to students at let's see and and diraj and aditya what is the university year or the college year there does it start in september like it does here in the us or do you do january to january when do you begin a, uni a college year or university year uh, around july june. on this yeah yes july okay. july august okay so july august are is the start of the university year of the college year in in india and august actually i think is the start here in the us as well so so maybe what we ought to consider is a jenkins webinar on using jenkins in your senior in your senior project so when we say using jenkins in your senior project would is would this be part of the 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 curriculum uh, in order for you to graduate or is this no. part of the DSC? My, my vision was neither of those. This is just a webinar that we would invite students to attend right, right, right. And, and show them how Jenkins can help you do a better job or a faster job on your senior project. Okay, but Darash was referring to um, like making finals year students the primary target, right? So their final year project would be to use Jenkins. No, no, their final year project is something they will choose, but it will likely, it will be a software development project if they're doing, if they're in a software program. And because it's a software development project, Jenkins can help them do a better job on whatever they chose. So yeah. all they'd be doing is using Jenkins as a tool they wouldn't be making Jenkins the focus of their project. I mean, some of them might even choose that, but for me, I, that would be surprise me. I, I assume, Diraj, when you choose a senior project, you choose something that's interesting to you. I want to do machine learning, or I want to do, I want to do, okay, I'm going to say a terrible one now. I want to do crypto mining. Don't you dare do that, just so we're clear. But but I want to do crypto mining because it's the cool thing now, something like that. And, and Jenkins would then be used in your environment to help you do that project better. Okay. Got it. Yep. Yes. So uh, a comment on that line uh, that, that you're mentioning the title, let Jenkins help your senior project. So this is a very catchy one. So you are targeting the specific people. So people would love to watch this one whenever. So because whenever I want to, I'm planning about my project uh, for final year project, I go to Google and search uh, best uh, tech stack to for my final year project, so senior year project. So this will help a lot. Okay, now, now you used a key phrase there. So I used words from my my American university experience where we have the concept of senior. Is the is the word senior or is it rather final year that is used commonly in your environment? So I, I usually use final year project. What okay. do you think, Aditya? Yeah, final is more common over here. Though okay. some people go with the freshers of a more junior senior, but final is more common. 
mm-hmm. so it's first second third and final that's the norm so uh, cool. and i i would also wait, i would have to take a leave now because i had a meeting at 10 and now it's already 10:13 yeah uh, yes i'm sorry i got to leave uh, but i agree with dheeraj that final year students can be the primary target Thank you. Thank you so much. And sorry, I got to take a leave. Thanks, Aditya. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay. So, so if we used this one, whoops, where'd it go? If we use this one, let Jenkins help your final year project. that when we could actively promote in india for instance and encourage people hey come join us we would likely need to do that rep webinar in in ist right it would need to be in india time zone it, it make doing it in us time zone is it's got the wrong phrasing it won't it won't catch the us students but there's also a much larger pool of students in india than there is a pool of students in the us Yeah, I think I think for this initial step mark, I think it would be a good idea for us just to focus uh, on India for the time being as as our starting uh point. Good. Okay, very good. All right. So and and we're certainly in July, August right now, so this is a this is a, a an interesting place where we could conceive, we could visualize, hey, let's propose this kind of thing and do it towards end of August. even this year to see if we can get interest in it. Mm-hmm. Great. Okay. So, um how this so uh, what contents will be there in this uh, webinar like how we are planning the structure. Is there any idea on that? Like is so, there a zone demo or some just simple ideas or something like that yeah i would think we would want i would think we would want to demonstrate uh jenkins for let's say interest for common topics or hot topics right where we might say things like here's jenkins doing javascript development or uh, actually let's let's do something even hotter jenkins doing machine learning development and we've got we've got some things that have already been done to do jenkins with doing machine learning jenk or maybe doing is the wrong way helping machine learning development jenkins helping um let's see what are some other common topics ai uh development or maybe we talk about um data analysis uh development right so big data kind of thing or jenkins helping uh bio biology this this one's a fun one where we could get johannes johannes yo i o i don't remember how to spell his name I'll misspell it intentionally and and of uh, his presentation at the contributor summit was a uh, a cool thing on how to do biology research. Also is there any specific specific reason why you deleted javascript? You say specific so is there a strong interest right now at at colleges in javascript? Yes. Uh, about web development yes great all right good so then that that would be a good one all right so mm-hmm. mark do we uh, jiraj do we need to do uh like the first one being what is jenkins or do we already expect them to know what jenkins is already well uh, i think we would need to tell them what is jenkins okay uh, because we don't it's not part of the curriculum and we don't use it normally so we need to tell them See and, and I was less concerned about an intro to Jenkins than about saying hey look yeah maybe maybe that's the 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 for me that would be a 2 or 3 minute thing of 
Jenkins will help you do these things. And here's an example of it helping you. And they, they are persuaded, oh, I should investigate Jenkins further because it will help me. That was what I was searching for, Alyssa. So I, I was assuming this was, the intro part was relatively brief saying, okay, here's, here's, a, here's Jenkins as a concept. Here's why you care about continuous integration, how it will help you. Here's why you should you teach your system to deploy automatically for you. Now, here are the things that you're probably, some, one, you may be doing one of these things in your final year project. This is how Jenkins could help you with that final year project. Yes, uh, this totally makes sense. So it's like you are uh, suggesting them and pointing them to some uh, specific direction and then just leaving them out just to explore on their own, right? So something like that. So that's great. So the brief introduction is nice. Okay. I agree. Hmm. Are there other sort of hot topics for final year projects currently at colleges and universities, Diraj? Well, most of them do MLAI, as you mentioned, and other, other set of people do web development. So these are two things that's pretty hot here. And some do blockchains, blockchain as well, as I did my project in blockchain. So that's one thing. Like more okay. into security domain, something like that. Ooh, 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 security. That is a very good okay. one, right? Okay. Security development. And particular, we've got the, the, the blog on the four master's students that did their oh. project, right? So yes. So this can be so, a series, right, Mark? Like a, um, a series sorry. of webinars. I, I think it might it might need to be a series yeah. if if we get enough if we get enough people willing to present. So the question right. would be, could we persuade persuade Vadek to help us with this with his four students? Could we persuade um, Johannes to help us with this one? That kind of thing. And I also think like. Uh, Oli and Damien, who are instructors, right? And they use this Jenkins, and we can also pick their brain in terms of what they feel would be helpful to teach these students. Right, very good, yeah. So so that's a, a Jenkins as your project, and this might be an Uli Hoffner topic. Um, that one for me is, is more challenging because Jenkins is your project. You really need somebody who knows Jenkins, but I like that. And then uh, we could ask Damien helping, ask Damien Deporto for his insights. Cause you're right, as an instructor, he, he certainly teaches. I just don't know how he would coach people to use Jenkins to make their, their learning faster. Good. Okay. So it's going to be a webinar which is open to all, right? Right, exactly. Webinars absolutely are open to anyone who wishes to attend. Hmm. Usually the exactly. daunting part about webinars is getting the presenters. And so there's, there's interest in things that already have a topic for some of these presenters. So Ioannis and his biology research topic, uh, security development for Vodic and the four students he worked with and Uli's topic. So as students um, work on this or becomes interested in this, how would they get support? Like if I, you know, if I'm working on it and I'm, I run into a problem, how would how would they get support? That's that's a good topic. So, how to how to ask for help um, and where? That feels like that should be a standard part of the of the, the the webinar, right? Saying, hey, when you have a question, this is where you ask, and this is the group that's 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 involved because it'll have to be community people helping, right? It's not just 
you don't get to ask a question to a single person. Here's this forum where you can raise a question and people will answer mm -hmm. or people may answer. Good, good insight. Yep. Okay. Any other insights there? Uh, so as you mentioned that big program like um, campus uh, ambassador is not possible, not a priority for Jenkins. So do we, uh, what do we think about conducting hackathons uh, specific oh. to Jenkins? Good question, right? So Jenkins hackathons at, at colleges, right? And for me, I have I had assumed that hackathons are likely are usually organized by a local person with local interest in in planning it and running it. Is that a fair fair way to say it, Diraj? I'm sorry, I didn't get it. So, who usually organizes hackathons at at in your experience? Is it typically a student? or is it more typically a, a sponsoring organization? Um, so it's conducted by the clubs, as you have written down, and it is sponsored by the techno big companies. So we can have a hackathon, which is sponsored by Jenkins, and they would uh, give you so-and-so swag if we use this product of Jenkins or that product of Jenkins. So we can make it product specific or something like that. Uh, I mean, that's what happens uh, with the hackathons related to cryptography, right? So they have different startups having their own thing. So if we use their products, we get this, this swag specifically. So that's how I was thinking. Interesting. This okay. So, so the concept here then might be we see if we could do a test and the test might be we invite um, a club that you're involved in at your school to consider doing a hackathon and the Jenkins project sponsors swag for the that whoops swap swag swag for that so we ship you a collection of t-shirts or something that say hey and then you now how do, is it typically then that the, the the sponsor organization decides whether or not the, the milestone was achieved, the goal was achieved, or is that the club leadership that chooses that? Uh, I'm, I'm not sure about the exact specifics, but I can get, tell you an example of uh, the part where I won a hackathon and I got a bag from GitHub. So it was just a simple criteria. Oh, okay, so uh, the winner is decided by our college faculties so they look at our projects and they also invited some alumni some 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 people uh, who were the judge and uh, so yes this this is exactly what you were asking i'm sorry so the winners are uh, decided by our faculties and then accordingly the gifts are given so gifts are decided by the uh, organization like GitHub, they say that for first prize we would give you back, second prize we would give you this this credit, so something like that. I see, got it. Okay, prizes provided by provided by the sponsoring organization. And then and so that then is then the winners are selected by um, a local committee, by a local group. Yes. Totally. Professors, other other local um, evaluators. Got it. Okay. Thank you. Interesting. Very good. All right. So that one I'm going to need to think more about because that mm -hmm. I could see how that that could easily be so the clubs at school are not necessarily associated with any particular vendor or organization there may be a a club that you're a member of and it's it's independent of or or at least somewhat independent willing to consider other tech companies or other tech organizations 
Yes, totally. Yes. Okay, got it. All right. Cool. Thank you. I apologize. I'm running up against a hard stop here. Are there other topics we need to do before we end our session today? This is this is great stuff. Yeah, thank you very much, Diraj, and thanks to Aditya as well for his involvement. Yeah. Let's go ahead and end our session today then. Alyssa, I'm just going to skip our other topics. We'll we'll yeah. discuss them the next time we meet. Sounds fine. All right. I'm sorry. If I accepted a lot. Oh no, Diraj, yours this yours was the most valuable part of the session. So so yeah. there is no question that we spent the right amount of time talking yeah. through the, the ideas you brought to us. Thank you very, yeah. very much. That's excellent. Thanks everyone. Thank you again. And we'll talk to you at our next session. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.